are you ready to give us some scoop on Castle? Yes, yes, I am, Matt. Um, you know, I just wanted to point out that I'm notice, noticing that you're dressed kind of like Beckett today. Okay, number one, total coincidence. And number two, I have on a much more sensible heel. Yeah. <laughs> Matt Midovich shared some quality time with Stonic Caddick, and they did more than just flirt, I understand. Well... That's a heavy Would that be word. correct? That's a loaded word. <laughs> so you caught up with her earlier this week. Well, first of all, Beckett just got fired. She did. Kind of with no tact from Lisa Edelstein's character. I mean, she just showed up at the doorstep and said, I'm here to tell you you're fired. So that raises a lot of questions. Can Beckett just go back to her job at the NYPD? What's next for her and Rick? What are their living arrangements? Because he just bought them an apartment in D.C. Mm -hmm. Are the boys at the 12th going to welcome her back? So we covered a lot of topics. But what we got here in this uh, little video clip is her talking about going back to the NYPD and the issue that Casket will have to deal with. Check it out. So what's next for uh, Kate career-wise? Is it not just a matter of her jumping back to the NYPD? No, because the position is taken and there's some sort of a hiring freeze. So she doesn't have an open space back in the NYPD and she has to kind of ingratiate herself back into the good graces of Captain Gates, the boys, everything. Are there any other issues for Rick and Kate that might keep their relationship from just coasting for a little bit? You know, I think one of the issues is um, Alexis and it's not necessarily an issue for Kate, but I think for Castle and Alexis, they're trying to figure out what does it mean to have another person come into Castle's life? And Alexis is kind of adjusting to some of that. Um, just finding out how to define that relationship and how things will change when there's possibly a new person in her dad's life. Interesting.